You've heard sayonara, right? And yes, that means goodbye in Japanese, but the truth is we don't really say that in Japan. The only situation where sayonara is used is in school between teachers and students. So what are the alternatives of sayonara? This is an ultimate video to learn how to say bye in 10 different situations, more specifically what to say when leaving. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first situation is saying bye to your friends casually and we say jane jane ja is well then ne is a sentence ending particle that shows like sharing feeling and it makes it sound more friendly jane uh, jane if you want to sound more masculine you can also say jana jana just replace the ne to na if you drop the ne it might you can also use it to someone who's older like ja ja but you wouldn't really wait. And another phrase you can use is mata ne, mata ne. Mata is again. And ne is the same thing, like sharing the feeling. If you want to make it masculine, you can say mata na, oh, mata na. <laughs> but if you know when you're meeting them the next time, you can say see you tomorrow by saying mata ashita, mata ashita. Mata, again. Ashita tomorrow. If you're meeting them next week, you can say mata raishu, mata raishu. And for those phrases, you can also add ne or na. Mata ashita ne, mata raishu na. And you can also say, probably this is the easiest one. You can say bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. It's really, really casual. I still use it sometimes, just like on the phone. Ah, uh, ja ne, bye bye, ja ne, bye bye. Like, uh, combining the two. You can also combine ja mata ne, ja well then, mata ne, see you again. Ja mata ne, ja mata ne. You can also combine the two and use that to someone older, a little formal version. You can say ja mata, ja mata. So second situation is at night when you're like, for example, after dinner or after party, you can say oyasumi. Oyasumi. Oyasumi literally means good night, but uh, it's used like have a good night. And formally, you can say Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi nasai. Now moving on to the next one. Third one is when you're leaving where you belong, like home or group. So when you're the one leaving, you want to say Ittekimasu. Ittekimasu. Itte is coming from iku to go. Uh, but it's a te form of iku, so to go. And kimasu is I'll come back. So the dictionary form is kuru and the mass form is kimasu. So together, itte kimasu means I'll go and come back. So you're implying, you're telling them that you're planning to come back. You can use it at home or you can also use it outside. If someone is leaving saying itte kimasu, right? You can say itte rashai. Itte rashai. Itte, again, it's to go. Iku, te form. And rashai is actually shortened version of irashai. Irashai means welcome in or come in. So itte rashai means please go and come back. Please go and come back. Why did I say twice? So leaving your house is itte kimasu, right? But what about when you're leaving someone's house as a guest? And this is the fourth one. You would say, Ojamashimashita. Ojamashimashita. This is actually lost in translation, but let me explain that as much as I can. Ojamashimashita. Jama means bothering or intrusion. And shimashita means I did. So it means I bothered you. Translate that literally. It's more like thank you for having me. It's a nice, polite, and well mannered phrase to use when you're leaving as a guest. This is important. You're the guest. This is a formal way of saying this, and there's no casual way. I would still use that with my friends. When I'm invited to their house and then I'm leaving, I would still say ojamashimashita, ojamashimashita. But when you're leaving, Japanese friends might come and see you off at the door or even to, for example, to the parking lot or something. So if you're the one inviting them, especially Japanese people, and saying bye, Please try to see them off until you can't see them anymore. Uh, don't just turn around and then go to your place. See them off and it's a nice 
gesture and very very caring so fifth one is i would say have a good day alternatives i really like the english phrase of have a good day or have a good evening or you know those phrases we do have it but we don't really use it we have yoi ichinichi o yoi good ichinichi a day so yoi ichinichi o good day it's actually a shortened version of yoi ichinichi o osugoshi kudasai yoi ichinichi o osugoshi kudasai osugoshi kudasai is please spend a good day yoi ichinichi o osugoshi kudasai i've never really heard it used in japan and i'd say it sounds more caring and friendly if you cheer them for what they're gonna do next or what they are working on for example if you want to say enjoy or have fun you can say tanoshindene tanoshindene tanoshinde is literally have fun enjoy and ne is the sharing feeling as i said previously and formally you can say tanoshinde kudasai tanoshinde kudasai for example if they're going on a date you can say deito tanoshinde ne deito date tanoshinde ne have fun enjoy if they're going to a party you can say ah party tanoshinde ne party tanoshinde ne don't worry it doesn't sound ironic that you didn't get invited but <laughs> i'm kidding and the next one is you want to cheer for them like good luck or do your best you can say ganbatte ne ganbatte ne ganbatte ne ganbatte literally means good luck or do your best the formal one is ganbatte kudasai ganbatte kudasai for example when they're taking a test very soon you can say Testo ganbatte ne. Testo ganbatte ne. If they are having an interview, you can say Mensetsu ganbatte ne. Mensetsu interview. Ganbatte ne. Good luck. Another phrase that shows your caringness is Kiyotsukete ne. Kiyotsukete ne. Kiyotsukete means take care. Especially when someone is traveling home, like driving home or taking the train home or even the plane. For example, if they are driving home, you can say Unten kiyotsukete ne. Unten kiyotsukete ne. Formal version is O kiyotsukete. O kiyotsukete. Ah, don't wave if you are speaking the polite one but if you want to show like friendliness you can kind of wave it depends on what kind of relationship you have with the person so far there are casual phrases and formal phrases from here i'm gonna explain more of how to say bye to strangers and also like at work if you are liking this video please give it a thumbs up and yeah continue watching next one is when someone's sick <laughs> You wouldn't just say bye, right? That's kind of mean. You want to say get well soon. And in Japanese, you can say odaiji ni, odaiji ni. Daiji means the action of taking good care of something. And daiji ni suru means to take good care. The phrase odaiji ni is not actually a complete sentence. The hidden part is odaiji ni shite kudasai. Odaiji ni shite kudasai. Shite kudasai is please do. Odaiji ni shite kudasai means please take good care of your body. But uh, it's long and you can just say the odaiji ni part to your friends or even to someone older. Odaiji ni, odaiji ni. But if you want to sound more formal, you can say odaiji ni shite kudasai. The full phrase. Odaiji ni shite kudasai. And if you are going to a hospital or a clinic, they might say odaiji ni nasatte kudasai. Odaiji ni nasatte kudasai. Nasatte kudasai is a honorific form of shite kudasai. Please do. So it's like a level up, a formality. Odaiji ni nasatte kudasai. To someone like your boss or yeah, someone who you pay respect to. So the seventh one is at the restaurant or store. So first one, at the restaurant, you can say Gochisou sama deshita as you leave. Now this is actually a greeting phrase to say after eating. To thank for the food and for someone who cooked. But it's also used when leaving the restaurant. Gochisou sama deshita as you leave. To thank for the service, food, and for the chef. Really a nice phrase to say when leaving the restaurant. Now, now when you receive service at the store, for example, you're getting some paperwork done at public offices because there's a lot of paperwork in Japan. In that case, you can say Arigato gozaimashita when you leave. Arigato gozaimashita. It literally means 
thank you. But don't say arigato by itself. This is casual. And most of the time when you're getting the service, you're the customer. You want to be polite. You're talking to a stranger. So you want to say arigato gozaimashita, gozaimashita. Thank you for what you've done. Now, next one is at work. When you're the leaving first, you can say, Osaki ni shitsure shimasu. Osaki ni shitsure shimasu. Osaki ni means uh, before you. Shitsure shimasu. Please excuse me. So, Osaki ni shitsure shimasu. Please excuse me before you. And when you're saying, Osaki ni shitsure shimasu, they will say, Otsukare sama deshita. So this is a phrase when someone else is leaving first and you're still staying at work. Now this is again lost in translation. Tsukare means tiredness. And otsukare sama deshita is like you've got to be tired or it must have been tiring but not in a negative way. Acknowledging that they worked, they did the hard work. The best translation would be good work or you did a good job or thank you for working hard. If your colleagues who are leaving are in the same batch or same age or younger, you can just say otsukare, otsukare. That's the casual way. Now on to the next one. Nice situation is graduation. Graduating from school or when you're retiring or when you're leaving a sports team, you can say to everybody, Osewa ni narimashita. Osewa ni narimashita. Osewa means care. Osewa ni naru means to be under someone's care. So this phrase, osewa ni narimashita, past tense, uh, more like thank you for taking care of me or thank you for working with me. So you'd say that at the graduation to your teachers or to someone who took care of you in school. Or when you're retiring or when you're leaving the company, you can say to everybody, osewa ni narimashita. Osewa ni narimashita. The last situation is farewell. 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 If you want to say farewell, it's not sayonara. It sounds like forever goodbye. It kind of has the negative connotation. So you can say, O genki de. O genki de. Genki is energetic or healthy. So, O genki de means stay well. Not a complete sentence. The complete sentence would be, O genki de. Ite kudasai, please stay healthy. Or you can just cut it and just say, O genki de, and it's formal. You can say it to someone who's older or someone who's in like higher position or status. To friends, you can say, Genki de ne, Genki de ne. It's kind of sad, farewell, but it's like wishing them good luck, wishing them well. So it's a nice phrase. All right, I hope it was helpful and I hope you get to use some of those phrases in real life with Japanese people or other Japanese learners. If you like this type of video, please don't forget to subscribe and also give it a thumbs up to this video. And also you might like this type of video right here. Uh, so please go check that out. And again, and I'll see you in the next video. Mata ne! どうせさよならまたねー